Hello, my name is Ezekiel Oburo. I'm an orthopedic uh, surgeon at uh, the University of Nairobi. And uh, today we are putting a series of casts. Uh, we will now proceed to put a radial gutter uh, splint. And uh, with me here is uh, Zachariah Kimengich, a very experienced orthopedic trauma technologist. And we have our patient, Cynthia, who has agreed to, for us to use her hand uh, for demonstration purposes. Thank you very much. Over to you, Zach. So, radial uh, armor gutter split, uh, we say it, education is the second. When the patient has the second and the third metacarpal, it is very important. The patient can actually has maybe either the neck or even the shaft, either of them. So, when the patient comes with that fracture, we will be able to apply the radial gutter split. So, with me, uh, preparation, preparation materials is very important where we need a uh, clay bandage, it comes in different sizes. Orthopedic padding also comes in different sizes. And the slab, I've actually been, uh, this is a slab uh, where we'll be able to now to measure the, the radial gutter split. So the radial is passing through the radial bone. And I can, you can be able to see uh, my, this is the measurement coming all the way to the distal there making sure that it is below the elbow. We are going to fold this so we are able to be able to cut. And then I've come up with a, a mark, maybe my assistant yeah. to be able to hold for me there, hold for me there. I want to show something here. Uh, so you, when you measure there, then ensure this thumb. We are going to cut here because of the thumb. So I've actually be able to put a mark there. So that's why this mark pen is very important. So you cut this small yes, piece here, so the, it allows it to the thumb to slide into yes, that space. Exactly. Okay, yes. very good. You want me to cut that for you? Yes, sure. sure Fantastic. Sure. Yes. So we are using our plaster cutting scissor. You can be able to see. Very important to have your materials and your tools. Then from there now, we still the same. That's the way we did the anagata. Same, 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 we position uh, the patient uh, hand, then we have to get a small, making sure that you get a small soft band. For in between the, yeah, in two, between fingers. the two fingers. Fantastic. And sure it's a straight. Good. Then you get our taping. Our taping. I Tape. will take that for you there. This tone. Move your fingers a little. Yes. Thank you. Ensuring it is not too tight, not too loose. Then Fine, we'll get I another one for this one too. Yeah, to proximal part. We are tapping it, splinting two fingers is very important because uh, both of them. Uh, that adds to the stability, isn't yes, it? Yes. That's fantastic. And there you so go. So from there, we have now our softy band, the same, padding it. So we are padding it, ensuring 50%. Then from there, so we are able to pad it 50%, that's the same thing. Then come again in between the, the thumb. Then now you can actually be able to go uh, proximal. Not too tight, not too loose. Ensuring, remembering 50% overlap. Then that's the same we did. The other prominent areas are very important uh, when you're doing a, any application. So we've been able to add some few soft bands at the, the wrist. Then now from there, so we are ready to apply our radial uh, gutter splint. This is our slab. Same, same, same. You need to be able to fold. It's important to know how to hold and how to position it. So we want to dip it into the water. You'll be able to see. Same procedure. Dip it vertically, 45 degrees. I like counting two, three, four, five. Then squeeze it. Uh, don't remove really a lot of water. Don't squeeze it a lot because you really need because of molding it. Then 
uh, you bring your slap, so it's passing through the radial bone. Uh, so your slap, the radial cutter spring passing through the second and the third, and then you'll be able to see our, our space of the un, uh, thumb, um. then passing through the, the radial bone. Then let's get our secure now with our clay bandage. Yes. So still following the same procedure, 50% overlap, not too tight, not too loose. Because always there is always complication. Assistant is very important. You can be able to see we're able to hold the hand so that prevent movement. Then come distantly again, following the same, same, same fifty percent overlap. And you can see I'm just going over it. I'm yeah. not tying it exactly. tight or anything. So when you've done that now, uh, you know your plaster uh, slab normally set very fast, so you have to be very fast. So now we want to make sure that we position our wrist, then ensure we correct two point fixations. Our wrist should be in an extension of five to five or uh, seven degrees. Uh, can be able to see I'm holding it, make sure it's 90. With a couple of phalangeous joints, then give it some few minutes to be able to set. Then you can secure with a, a strapping tape. So give it some few minutes. Our slab or our inner casting will not be able to dry until uh, 36 to 72 hours. So, but this one will be able to set in time. And be able to say between three to nine minutes, it's already our slab or our cast is normally set. Then you can actually now be able to clean your patient. So when you clean, then ensure your hand is rested in that position and give instruction how you're supposed to take care of this anagata split. The really patient bad. should be followed up in the clinic until this anakata split is removed. Ah, it's a radio gutter. Yeah, radio gutter, yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, uh, Zach and uh, Cynthia, for that uh, very good demonstration. Uh, and thank you also for taking your time to watch.